Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk through some new end pieces to my wardrobe. It's been a really long time since I filmed one of these as I've been doing these dedicated brand reviews instead. So I have five items here and I want to talk through each piece, what it was that drew me to that item, the sizing, the fit, the quality and how I would personally style it. Today's video is in partnership with Majuri and I will be styling up their beautiful designs along with each of these new end pieces and I do want to share for those of you who who've been waiting for their Black Friday sale. This is the only sale that they do every single year. It is here, early access is live, and in order to be able to access this discount for anybody else, all you need to do is sign up as a Majuri Plus member and you can get 20% off your order. There is a minimum spend. I will put what it is in the different currencies on screen, but trust me when I say, especially if you're planning to buy a special piece for yourself or a loved one, it'll be really easy to hit that target. So I'll show you a little bit of an up close of some of the things that I picked up from Majuri, and then we'll talk through the new additions to my wardrobe. So probably my favorite piece, and actually something I've had on my wish list for quite a few years now from Majuri is one of their heirloom rings. I opted to get this in the garnet, which really just has this depth to it, which is so moody, but then when it catches light, it sparkles so brilliantly. And I really love that. I love when you have a jewel like this that is so multifaceted, it feels really dimensional and it adds a lot of interest into your outfit. The other ring I picked out is the wave ring and this is in sterling silver. And what I was drawn to here is the twisted design. I also really like the way it pairs with my signet rings. I've got the 14 karat gold and the diamond pave signet ring which I've had for probably a couple of years now. I just think it's this really soft contrast, feels a little bit interesting to me. I actually really adore their diamond pave pieces so the other two items that I picked out are the little heart earrings which are so dainty. I love all the little diamonds clustered together and the way that they just sparkle. It's just so pretty and they have this marvelous shine in addition to the diamond pave necklace as well. I also was really drawn to the serpentine necklace. This has a little bit of a twisted over effect to it as well. Quite kind of a flat style necklace. And the final pieces I picked out were the bracelet. So we have this lovely chain bracelet which has the sapphire detail and then I also opted for one of their uh, birthstone bracelets as well. So this has got an amethyst, I was born in February and it kind of matches my jumper as well that I'm wearing right now. I love blending together the different widths of chains, those kind of more delicate styles with the more robust ones. So those were the pieces that really caught my eye but you're going to see some of my other favorites featured throughout this video too. But let's dive into my new in and I have to talk about this first one for a minute because I've ordered it before returned it and I think I finally met my match. It is the Betty Cardigan from Cezanne. So I previously ordered this in the It Crew color and it is absolutely stunning but when I put it on I felt like it was a little bit too done up. It felt a little bit too formal for me and my daily life. I am often either working from home, I'm doing a lot of Zoom meetings but because I'm only working part-time I do also have my kids so I need things that are going to reflect my lifestyle and that nice balance between work and play. The stripe variation caught out to me in so many different ways. One, I love a stripe and I often cannot resist but also it just felt a little bit more chilled out, it felt a little bit more relaxed, and I really like the idea of having this as also a striped knit when worn buttoned up. I sort of see myself wearing this a lot with an all black outfit just to add in this element of contrast and interest. So that's kind of what I've done with my styling. I actually wore a white t-shirt and then some black shorts with this along with some black sandals. And you can see the way that I have decided to pair my jewelry as well with that serpentine necklace and the diamond pave necklace. I feel like the white tee creates the perfect blank canvas for that. And also just the way that I've mixed up my rings. I think when you are opting for those more minimal outfits. You really have a lot of scope to play around with the weight and chunkiness of your jewelry. Uh, but the quality of this is absolutely divine. It is merino wool and I would say this is up there as probably one of the best pieces that you can buy from Cezanne. It comes in lots of different colors if you're not a fan of the monochromatic moment. I really like the navy one too which has a crochet embroidered collar detail. Um, in terms of sizing I size up to a medium and I feel like that's actually a really good fit for me. I am an AU8 uh, but I do at least at this point in my life I prefer to have a little bit more room across the shoulders uh, especially in my outerwear. So that is kind of the first piece and really, really glad that I decided to give the Betty Cardigan a second chance. I've always been sort of lusting after it every single time I see it on somebody else, no matter what color it is in. And now I finally have my own. So 
such a winner. Then the second piece that I added to my wardrobe recently is this really fun uh, statement tee or graphic tee from Garni. And you'll have to mind, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, tomato sauce tees on here because I was wearing this last night and I haven't had a chance to wash it yet. Um, my kids were having a really messy meal, clearly. Uh, but what I was really drawn to here is the cat print on the front. I just thought it was really fun. The color red is having such a big moment right now and this is a very subtle way to add in that color trend to your wardrobe, especially if you do like a printed or graphic tee like this. I didn't realize when I was ordering this that the Garni text across the top is embroidered. So it has this additional level of artisanal craftsmanship to it, which I really appreciate. It's really funny, my daughter loves anything that I've got with a cat on it and she's obsessed <laughs> with this. And I have to say probably the main way that I've been wearing this is with a pair of black trousers. And I wanted to shift away from that and think about other items in my wardrobe that I could pair it with. So for the cutaways, you'll see me wearing it with a pair of taupe brown colored trousers. So not really that dissimilar to what I'm wearing usually, but it's a soft and neutral and it creates less contrast in the outfit. I actually forgot to do this for the styling, but I also think a white oversized shirt thrown over the top as a layering piece or a transitional piece would be a great option too. Again, here you can see how I've paired those Majuri jewelry pieces as well. And what I've done here is I've used one of those necklaces from the Pirate collection to create some real drama in terms of how low down my necklace falls. I will say for a t-shirt, this is obviously pretty expensive but overall I'm actually really pleased with it. The weight of the cotton is quite nice and thick. It feels really sturdy and I was, like I said, so surprised to notice that it is embroidered on the front, both at the top and at the bottom. So that feels like an additional detail that I'm really happy and prepared to pay a little bit more for. Let's move on to a pair of trousers. These are a beautiful cream twill trouser from Langholm, which is a New Zealand brand. Now I actually recently worked with them and these were one of the pieces that I adored the most. So I decided to order them for myself and I'm so, so with them. I wear them in an extra small. I actually have this exact same pair in the black and I will say they are pretty much the perfect wide leg trouser because the fabrication is one that actually does work all year round and it's very rare that you'll find pant fabrications that will do that for you. This isn't going to look out of place in the winter time with a really thick knit then it's also going to look great in the summertime with a little cotton singlet or a linen shirt and I had been looking for something like this and I feel like now I've found it. So very, very pleased and also nice because I don't actually have to get them tailored. They kind of just kiss the floor, which is something that I look for in my trousers. It means I have the choice to either wear them with a flat shoe or else I can wear them with a heel as well. So I've actually styled these up two ways. The first thing with a waistcoat and a pair of flat sandals. And I like this for a bit of a tonal moment because as you can see, the waistcoat and the trousers, they don't match in terms of the tone and it feels really kind of fresh and summery and it also integrates that waistcoat trend which yes I now have jumped on board. Yeah, I'm well firmly on the waistcoat train. And what I like about the waistcoat is the fact that it does create, again, I'm talking about necklaces a lot, but it has this nice framework in terms of creating space for your necklaces to sit and be a focal point of your outfit. I also really love the statement of the earrings that I'm wearing here. I think it's just a really nice playful way to add in a little bit of drama around the face too and of course those beautiful rings and bracelets from Majuri too. For the second outfit I wanted to bring it back a little, make it feel more casual so I have worn it with a graphic tee, a different one to the Garni one uh, and this one actually has a really similar tone to the trousers so it feels like a very nice monochromatic moment but just with this vibrant print on the front. I have kind of switched out the necklace to the serpentine here just so that it kind of kisses the collar of the tee and then I've also paired it with some sneakers as well and I thought that's a nice way very practical way to wear these especially when I'm around my kids and the great thing is that these pants are machine washable so I don't really have to worry if I get any spills and I'm all about that carefree easy maintenance life. The final clothing item that I've bought recently is this tank from Mal and I mean, I probably didn't need another black tank, but when I saw this, it was one of those emotional purchases. I immediately added it to cart. Marl is one of the few brands where I have that instant urge to shop and I might not necessarily wait my full 30 days before I pull the trigger on a purchase. What I liked about this is the curved 
neckline detail so instead of being a square neckline it kind of has this soft organic shape and it felt really interesting a great way to elevate a basic and also you can kind of see from the back it is actually quite low at the back it's in a really soft cotton rib it feels really really comfortable and smooth against the skin and so for styling I will probably wear this a lot with denim shorts with shorts even just a black tailored trouser I suspect I think that would be a really easy way to throw these on this would also look great with those white pants and actually all of these items that I've added to my wardrobe work together harmoniously and I think that is the key when you are sort of buying things with a lot of intention or just really making sure that they fit your unique personal style. But I have paired this in the cutaway with a maxi length silk skirt so that I can add in this extra element of texture and shine because I do find that washed silk catches the light really beautifully. And then to sort of winterize this a little bit, think about how I could take this top into the cold months, I've also thrown on a faux leather bomber jacket. And again, I think kind of the key piece when I look at this outfit is that heirloom ring from Majuri. I love the garnet. It is just so pretty and again it kind of adds this really nice depth that I was talking about earlier to the look and of course I really had to go big and go bold when it came to the earrings as well because I felt like if you're wearing an all black look especially something like this you kind of need to go for it with the accessories. I did get this in my usual size which is an 8 and I do almost wonder whether I could have gotten away with the 6 because it is such a soft and stretchy knit but I'm reasonably happy with it and of course if I do end up gaining weight it's still going to fit me so I suppose from that perspective it's also a win but really good basic and it does also come in white as well which is quite nice. Uh, then the final item that I bought and added to my wardrobe recently is a stunning little bag from St. Agni and I've gotten so many questions about this every time that I wear it. When I saw this, the moment I saw it, I knew. I'd actually been tossing up between a similar style that they released. It is more of a sling style bag, very similar to my Le Mer croissant bag but woven in texture and it has a really nice shine to the leather. When I saw this, I just thought really beautiful and actually probably going to be uh, a design that I find works more in line with my personal style. I was particularly drawn to the woven leather. I think it is really intricate and it's a lot of detailing, adds in this very interesting textural component to outfits. And it reminded me a lot of Bottega, but without the Bottega price tag. So this bag was, I think it was $350, which I think is a very reasonable price given the quality of the bag. Uh, it does have a really nice thick glazing here along the edge too. I will say though that mine has already gotten some scratches because it is that more delicate calf leather. So while it is going to be durable I would say it's probably around the five mark in terms of getting scratches you do need to really look after it my son has climbed on this a couple of times already in the car despite me telling him not to to be really careful uh, so from that perspective that's the reason why I've gotten a little bit of wear to it but if you don't have kids climbing all over your stuff you're probably not going to have to worry too much no feet on the bottom and it is really really slouchy so when it has nothing in it, it kind of curves in on itself it doesn't have that structure it's a really nice soft bag uh, it does have the fabric lining one little slip pocket inside which I personally wish was a zip up pocket because I do find it's a little bit high up and I worry that if I put anything in there it might fall out because the closure of the bag is just a very soft magnetic clasp it doesn't fasten very firmly and especially if you have young kids that can be a little bit of a risk in terms of potentially losing something especially out of these two sides here but aside from that I think such a stunning bag and you can see probably one of my favorite ways to wear this is with butter yellow I think that butter yellow and chocolate brown work so harmoniously together and again that is another color trend for the season that we have been seeing a lot but it also works really nicely with this outfit combo that I have on right now um, and I actually really like this pairing with the lilac uh, but that is the final item that I added to my wardrobe and again you'll see all those beautiful Majuri jewels uh, paired with it as well in the cutaways too. So those are five new things I've added to my wardrobe along with some delicious new pieces from Majuri. I will have everything that I shared linked down in the description box below. If you are planning to buy something from Majuri sell make sure to take advantage of early access now because I know some pieces do tend to sell out and this is that one opportunity a year to really save on your order and 20% off is such a fabulous savings especially if you're thinking about buying something special for a loved one or yourself anyway thank you for watching thank you for spending some of your day with me and I will see you again soon in a brand new video bye